If you're looking for an affordable crossover, there are so many great new options because automakers know that that's what shoppers want. They're abandoning traditional cars like sedans and hatchbacks, so every automaker is putting a lot of effort into making its SUVs better than ever. For Chevrolet, that meant revamping its popular Equinox from top to bottom. The new 2018 models got a new look, a new interior, it's significantly lighter than before, and it's got new turbocharged engines. Is that going to be enough for success in this increasingly competitive segment? How does it look? The 2018 Chevy Equinox is four and a half inches shorter in length, about an inch shorter in height, and almost 400 pounds lighter overall. It's a much fresher, more modern look. I don't think it's necessarily the prettiest crossover you can buy, but the sharper new style of the Equinox does look pretty good. How's the storage? Because the Equinox is a little bit smaller than before on the outside, cargo space is a tiny bit less than before as well. With the bank seats up, you get about 30 cubic feet of space, which is definitely on the small side for this class of vehicles. Now you can easily fold the bank seats completely flat with these convenient handles. But even once you do, you don't have the most space that you can find in this competitive set. Let's see how our away suitcases look back there. The center console storage area is huge and has USB charging points. There are two big cup holders up front, roomy enough door pockets, and space for storing a phone up front near the USB ports. And of course, there are cup holders for your rear passengers in the back seat armrest. Is it roomy? I've got plenty of headroom and legroom in front, plus tons of adjustability from these optional eight-way power seats. The edge of the center console, though, is right where I want to put my elbow when driving. In back, too, you'll find more than enough space for fully grown adults like myself to sit comfortably. The back seat doesn't slide anymore, but it does still recline into two different positions. How does the interior feel? The inside of the Equinox looks and feels a lot nicer than before. Now, if you've been in other new Chevy models like the Cruze and the Malibu, most of these parts in here are gonna look pretty familiar. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Most of them look pretty nice and work pretty well. And I like that in this Premier model, we've got lots of soft materials here on the dashboard and on this center armrest. Is it well equipped? On this test car, we've got things like wireless phone charging, heated and cooled front seats, a heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, pre-collision braking, lane keep assist, a 360 degree camera, remote start, LED lighting, and so on. Overall, there are no glaring emissions from the Equinox's options list. You can get pretty much everything its competition offers. How's the infotainment system? It's the same 8-inch MyLink touchscreen we've seen in other Chevrolet models, and it's just as good in the Equinox as in the Malibu or Cruise. The built-in functions work very well, and although there is no integrated navigation, you do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, as well as OnStar navigation. There's also a 4G Wi-Fi hotspot, though you do have to pay a subscription fee. In addition to the two USB ports up front, there are two in the center console and two in the back for passengers to charge up their devices. Is it a good daily driver? One thing I noticed straight away was that this is a lot quieter than the old Equinox. I don't hear as much wind and road noise, and the suspension is a lot more comfortable over rough roads like the ones we're on now. We're driving the base engine. It's a 1.5 liter turbo, and it's a lot smoother, not as thrashy than the old 2.4 liter base engine. It comes with stop starter standard, which helps save fuel and is pretty unobtrusive for the most part. Now, one benefit to the fact that this Equinox is a lot smaller than before is it's much more agile and maneuverable. The turning radius is smaller and it's just easier to park and cut through traffic in urban situations. Is it fun to drive? Even though it lost a lot of weight in this new generation, the Equinox is still just kind of average in the fun to drive category. And that's fine, it's a family crossover. 
Now there is going to be a two liter turbo option with 252 horsepower, which will probably be a little more fun. And that also gets a nine speed automatic transmission instead of this six speed automatic, which is pretty slow and lazy at times. But for the most part, the Equinox drives fine. It's just not the sportiest crossover around. How's the fuel economy? Much better than before. This front wheel drive model gets 26 MPG city and 32 highway, up from 21 and 31 MPG in its predecessor. Those aren't class leading numbers, but they're still very good. With all wheel drive and this 1.5 liter engine, you'll return 24 city and 30 MPG highway, which again is much better than the old Equinox. Chevy will also sell a 1.6 liter turbo diesel engine that's expected to get much better fuel economy, maybe as much as 40 miles per gallon on the highway. How much is it? This test car, a front wheel drive Equinox Premier, lists for $34,000 after options. Base prices on the Equinox run from about $25,000 to about $35,000, which isn't too far out of line with the competition, but you often have to pay a bit more than rivals to get equivalent features. Heated seats are part of a $1,900 option package on the Equinox LT, for instance, but are standard on the cheaper Honda CR-V EX. What are the negatives? There are no glaring issues with the Equinox, but if I had to pick some negatives, I would say that it has a little bit less cargo space than some of its competitors, and that you generally have to pay more to get the same features that you would on other crossovers. Who should buy it? The 2018 Chevrolet Equinox is a big improvement over its predecessor, and it stacks up really well against a lot of other new crossovers. With improved fuel economy, a fresher look on the outside, a nicer interior, and more equipment on offer, it's a great choice within this increasingly crowded segment. If you liked this Why Buy video, be sure to click the like button, and if you've got any questions about this or any other cars we've reviewed, leave a comment and we'll try and get back to you. You should also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get a new Why Buy video every Thursday, plus tons of other great video content. And you can also find us on all your favorite social channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, motor1.com.